Hello guys, this is Jethlin2020, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to solve a common problem that occurs with the Gear VR goggles, and that is the problem of the lenses inside fogging up due to the difference in temperature of the lens and your face. So for the first few minutes, actually more than a few minutes of you wearing the uh, goggles, placing them on your face, the lenses fog up and it's a battle to try and keep that fog um, from occurring and then taking them off and wiping them down to get a nice clear picture of what you're viewing. So what I'm going to attempt to do, I ordered a couple of micro brushless fans. I think these are 20 millimeters by 10 millimeters and some 9 volt batteries. And I'm still waiting on my battery cases with the on off switch, but for now I may use this one and I'm going to try and mount both batteries in there and mount it along the strap somewhere. This one's a little large. The one I'm getting in a few days uh, is a little smaller and it should fit better on the strap. And then what we're gonna try and do is use some hot glue. I may have to drill some screws, uh, some screw holes in here, not sure yet. I'm gonna try with the hot glue first because that can always be removed. And we're gonna mount them off to the sides like so. Run the wire to the battery with the on-off switch and hopefully just the movement of that air in this chamber in here will keep the fog from occurring. Now the only thing I'm concerned with is that this motor does need some space to grab the air and if it's mounted flush against the wall like so it may not be able to to circulate the air properly so I may have to come up with a way or, or get some standoffs that give a little space between the wall of the goggles and this fan so the air could circulate back underneath and through and out the front and you do need I believe I'm gonna I was gonna try with one fan but I think I'm gonna do one on each side because when you put the goggles on, I don't know if there's enough space here for the one fan to circulate across. So we may go with two. I'll do one on each side and see how that turns out. So with these fan, with the motors that I got, and I'll leave a link down below in the description, they did come with this little um, clip on here. So I had to cut that off because I'm going to end up splicing the battery, the 9 volt battery um, connector right to the fan wires like so and then hiding the batteries in the case and put it on the strap like I said. So we're going to see how that comes out. I'm going to attempt to hot glue in now and run the batteries and see if it works mounted as is with the hot glue. If not, we'll have to come up with a, another solution, try and get some standoffs and drill some holes. So let's give this a shot. Okay guys, so here's what I have so far. I originally had the motors mounted down below here underneath the uh, lenses, underneath your eye but what I noticed was when the fans were running, it did absolutely eliminate the fog, no problem. But the airflow was going up kind of into your eye, drying out your eye a little bit. I think it's something I could get used to, but I decided to try to mount the motors to the side, one on each side, one left, one right, with a little hot glue. Then run the wires underneath the, um, the foam uh, face cushion along the back of the strap. And then I used the Dremel tool to cut a holes uh, with the cutoff wheel in the back of the battery case and then I slid it onto the strap like so. So this will sit in the back of your head. Like I said before, I, I am going to get smaller battery cases with on off switches so I'll end up doing the same thing to them. But for now I'll probably end up putting both batteries in here uh, and then connecting. So this will sit on the back of your head and hopefully tuck the wires away nicely. I also ended up having to solder uh, the battery wires on to the motors because I just think uh, these wires were a little small. I'm not an expert. Maybe you guys can uh, or better and you can um, splice these together. I ended up using solder and a little tape. Doesn't look so great, but tomorrow I'm going to get some heat shrink and make this look nice and pretty. But for now, I will definitely call this uh, a success. This mod a success. It eliminates the fog. If if um, you have to and you, you find that the airflow is not sufficient, you can also you can put some standoffs underneath here just to pull it away from the, um, the sidewall a little bit to give yourself some more airflow. The other option I thought of was taking the motors, placing them back here, but putting them upside down so the air flows down into the bottom of the, um, the goggles and circulates like so. As long as you have that airflow, it will eliminate the fog and then it won't be blowing up into your eyes. So that is another option. I'm probably going to post this video, guys. This is going to be on my Jethlin 2020 channel, but I also have a new channel called 360 Vlogger, which is dedicated to all 360 and virtual uh, reality content. 
um, goggles. You'll see videos with my uh, Gear 360 camera. There's some pretty cool stuff on there. So if you guys get a chance, please hop on over there. I'll leave a link uh, above and uh, below in the description. And please check the channel out and subscribe if you can. Also, uh, leave some comments if you have any questions down below. And hit that like button if you guys found this video useful. Thanks a lot. Uh, Jethlin2020, a.k.a. 360 Vlogger. Take care.